If your dog's feet smell like popcorn, Fritos, Cheetos, Doritos, or some other type of favorite snack food you're likely to find in a vending machine, you may have wondered what's behind that smelly concoction. No, it's not like your dog has set up a secret corn chip factory around the corner, nor is he stealing your snack foods when you're not looking, even though he would love to. And if you think it's a matter of the food you are feeding your dog, think again. Turns out, you are not imagining things when you think your dog's feet smell like popcorn, and veterinarians have some reasonable, down-to-earth explanations for it. So, let's discover several possible culprits for your dog's Frito feet, or Cheetos smell. 1. The role of sweat. If you think your dog will break a sweat after jogging in the same way you do, think again. Dogs don't sweat the same way we do. While we have many sweat glands profusely distributed throughout our bodies, dogs instead, sweat very discreetly through isolated sweat glands that are located on their paw pads. Sweaty feet in dogs are most likely seen when dogs are stressed just as we tend to get clammy hands. These sweat glands though, according to Muller and Kirk's small animal dermatology, have limited function when it comes to cooling dogs down. A dog's primary method for dissipating heat, therefore, remains through panting, which entails vaporizing water from their respiratory passages. Did you know? According to Sue Gould, professional dog groomer and author of the book, The Dog Groomer's Manual, those sweaty feet in dogs helps improve their grip and traction so that they can make a safe escape. 2. Bacteria and Yeast. On top of sweating, dog feet, like the rest of the dog's skin, are normally populated by several types of bacteria and yeast. The fact that toes are stuck together, touching one another, further results in reduced ventilation and trapped moisture. On top of that, dog feet are in contact with the ground for a lot of time, and dogs occasionally tend to lick them which contributes to additional microbes. All of these factors therefore likely contribute to the smell, paving the path for a stronger odor compared to the rest of the dog's body, explains veterinarian Janet Tobias and Crosby. 3. The Ultimate Culprit. In particular, that smell, which so well resembles your favorite snack foods, mainly comes from two types of gram-negative bacteria known as Pseudomonas and Proteus. These particular strains are known for populating a dog's feet and ears, explains Rob Hilton, a veterinarian with a practice restricted to referrals in veterinary dermatology around Melbourne. While bacteria may contribute to the odor of dog feet, when it comes though to that typical snack food smell, Proteus is the main bacteria to blame, explains Dr. Robert J. Silver, a Colorado-based veterinarian in an article for the Huffington Post. Something to be aware about. While a dog's skin is normally inhabited by several types of yeast and bacteria, fortunately the immune system does a pretty decent job in keeping their numbers under control. However, sometimes things may get out of hand. An overgrowth of yeast and bacteria may cause problematic skin conditions that go beyond that typical popcorn smell. If you ever notice a rancid, pungent or musty odor coming from your dog's skin, it's best to seek veterinary attention, suggest Karen Helton Rhodes and Terry Bonenberger, two board-certified veterinary dermatologists. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.